Outlook 2003 granting user rights to your calendar. First of all we're going to look at delegates. Just to prove we're using Outlook 2003 there you go. Click Tools, Options, Delegates and then you can add in the user that you want to grant rights to your calendar. I've got a test user set up. There he is. Untick this option because it breaks everything. And above you can set the level of access. We just want to grant read only, so we're going to grant review, but you can grant author and editor. Click OK. There it is in the list. Apply. OK. Now in addition, you can also grant rights to your calendar at a more granular level by granting direct permissions. So, if you click Share My Calendar and add our test user in here, See here we can assign a lot more granular levels of permissions. Now we only want to grant read access so I'm going to review it and you can change that down here and, and grant whatever rights you want to. Apply and OK. OK to grant all users or default uh, rights to your calendar. We're going to the same place, click on Share My Calendar, but this time we're signing rights to the default user. By default, there is no permission set. So if you wanted everybody in your organization to be able to see your calendar, then you would change that to reviewer or editor, depending on how, how many rights you want to grant all users. Click Apply and click OK. Now to open somebody else's calendar, what you need to do is, whilst in Outlook, File, Open, Other Users Folder. Make sure Calendar is selected in the list. We're going to open our Test Users Calendar. There it is there, and it will appear beside our own. Now I can untick it to turn it off. Ticket to turn it back on. I can add extra calendars in. I can turn my own calendar off. Now, if I want to remove one from the list, simply right click it and delete it. And that's us back to where we started.